Hi and welcome to this week's web design video blog. Today we're sharing a brief introduction to Candy CMS, which is a brand new, lightweight, open source CMS platform that has been developed by our colleague Stephen Radford. If you're already familiar with WordPress, then you'll love Candy CMS. It has all of the key features of WordPress like plugins, themes and widgets, but it's cleaner, lighter and easier to use format. A fully installed copy of Candy CMS straight out of the box is less than 500 kilobytes in size. And unlike WordPress, which is rapidly growing in size, trying to be all things to all people, Candy CMS's main USP is to stay simple. Here's Stephen with a preview of Candy. So this is Candy's website at uh, candycms.org. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick look at a couple of the pages. Um, so we've got the, the docs page, which will give you all the information you need on um, the basics of theming, plugin development, as, as well as a look at you know, most of the public functions within Candy. We've got the themes page. You can download any of these uh, themes and just use them straight out of the box with uh, Candy CMS. Um, I'd recommend downloading the base theme if you do want to get into plugin development, uh, theme development, sorry. Um, we've got plugin uh, plugins uh, here as well. Um, we've got the, the latest Sweet plugin, which I'll show you in just a second, um, as well as a little bit of information on creating and submitting plugins on the right-hand side. So we'll just give the, the latest version uh, 0.7.2.1 a download. And you'll see that that downloaded really quickly. Um, and that was that's because Canny's uh, less than 500 kilobytes um, unzipped and installed. Um, and that's mainly thanks to the Redactor, um, Redactor WYSIWYG editor that we're using. Uh, it's a really lightweight jQuery based uh, WYSIWYG editor. Uh, that allows uh, users to you know upload images and 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 do everything that they would expect in a normal CMS like WordPress, um, but it's really quick to load and it's uh, only 40 kilobytes. So we can take a quick look at the the files we've downloaded here. Um, you notice we have got an install.php file. Um, all you need to do is upload the the downloaded folder to the directory of your choice on your server or your local machine, um, however you want to run it. Um, and just navigate to it in a browser. The, the installer will guide you through it. You will need a MySQL database or, or similar, um, as well as PHP 5.3, um, curl if you want to use the automatic updater, and Apache mod rewrites for the URLs as well. So if we take a look at a uh, live Candy CMS website, um, this is just a fresh install of um, Candy, and I've added a couple of pages and installed the, the clean theme. Um, so we've got a blog page as well, which is using the, the built-in blog plugin included with Candy CMS. And you see we've got the latest tweet plugin on the right-hand side here. So if I resize this, it's also a fully responsive theme. Um, so you see it resizes with the browser. Um, and again, that looks great on mobile. So we take a look at the, the back end of Candy. Um, this is the, the dashboard. And you'll see we've got a blogs post, uh, blog posts widget as well as our uh, pages widgets. Um, and widgets can be added by plugins, so plugins are freely able to uh, add widgets to the dashboard and display information from, from any, anywhere within Candy or, or the plugin itself. Along the top, we've got our main navigation, and we've got pages, blog, appearance navigation, plugins, and settings. So we'll take a quick look at pages. And um, we'll add a new page. For, so I'll call this one demo. And we can go ahead and edit the URL that's auto-populated. So if we just type demo page in, for example. Um, and we can go ahead and add, choose between two templates in this theme. Um, and you can add as many templates as, as you like. It's, it's very easy to do so. Um, if I select the two column layer, you will notice that a second WYSIWYG appears um, called sidebar. Um, and that's using the, the built-in custom fields. And these can be also added manually by just clicking the custom fields button in the top right. So I'm just going to type a bit of content in here. Um, hello there. And this is the sidebar. Um, and if I wanted to pull out the, the latest tweets uh, widget, for example, and I can do so, it's just double uh, two curly braces, Twitter, and two curly braces is the short tag for uh, the latest tweet plugin. Um, if I upload an image as well, just in case of hitting the, uh, the image button, and you can either drag and drop the file here or click choose uh, file. And I'm going to add this purple guy here. So that's added automatically and you can just drag um, to resize that. So we'll say add that page. Um, if I'm going to 
if I click navigation in the top, we can add it to our navigation. Um, just hit the relevant page on the left hand side, add it to the, the nav, and we can drag and drop this, um, nest it into a parent. Um, I'm just going to leave this on the top level for, for now. Save the navigation. Um, and you'll notice when we refresh the, the front end of the site, it's now popped up in our navigation at the top. So we click onto that page. Um, you'll be able to see we've got our latest tweets on the right hand side. Um, we've got our image that we uploaded as well as our, um, our text that we popped in as well. So back in the back end, um, just take a quick look at the appearance page. Um, here you can change the colors on the fly of the website. This is all um, you know things that are, that are built into Candy. Um, and, and theme developers can take advantage of. And that's saved on the fly, so if we refresh the front end, um, you'll be able to see the, the changes automatically. And we've got a blog plugin installed, I mentioned, so we can add a new post, um, we can save it as a draft, add it into categories. Um, again, we've got our standard WYSIWYG uh, redactor being pulled out there. Um, and it's just uh, really easy to add a category, for example, so we can say add demo, and it's just as simple as that. Um, so that's a quick look at Candy. Pretty cool. So once Creare's new website blog is launched later this summer, Stephen will be authoring a series of Candy CMS videos, taking a closer look with tutorials and screencast workshops. Thanks for watching. Don't forget Candy CMS is available for free right now at candycms.org.